Apparently, the West wasn't quite as easy as we were led to believe. I will make sure my reports are more accurate in the future, Commander. As a result of your success, Major Victory's armies in Mexico were cut off from their support lines, and the Mexican freedom fighters overran them. The neutral government of Mexico has been restored. In Europe, the Countess has stolen Poland from Napoleon, and in Asia, Mondo Khan has retaken Afghanistan. You're insane to attack the new American armed forces. You can't possibly defeat Major Victory. I advise taking advantage of the confusion in Major Victory's new American armed forces and continuing your attacks. This time, concentrating on the Midwest. Keep up the great work, Commander. Clark out. Welcome back to This Means War. And it looks like, ooh, Midwest USA, Operation Heartland. And we have a new technology, the bazooka. Is that infantry? Then I'm probably not going to use it. Unless, well then again, I don't know. In this game here, it seems to break with convention occasionally because infantry is apparently really good. It's just super slow, but it's actually quite efficient. But anyway, Midwest has set the ember waves of grain afire. Protect your farms. It is cheaper to repair a farm than to rebuild it. That is probably true. Political situation here. Eyes soaringly bright pink takes over some some less eyes soaringly bright purple and apart from that not much has changed I'm okay with that and Mexico is neutral again I suppose they will probably join us uh, sooner or later I guess we're going to have to take over the entire globe and Canada is still the enemy but that's okay they'll probably fall once once we take over the Midwestern United States. So here we are. We have to save these these ember fields of grain here from being destroyed. Let's get you over here, you over here, and you over there, you over there, and you will build me a supply depot. Oh, uh, there we go. You can do that right here, and you can build me a low tech factory right here, and then we will think about doing other things. Also produce me some rafts because we're probably going to need those and go. Yeah, we'll see how useful that bazooka infantry really is. It's still infantry, so they probably won't do well against jeeps and rafts, but yeah. We'll we'll see about that. We do have a lot of surplus food here, and these farms here are on fire. I guess they have a lower production rate when they are damaged, but it's not quite clear to be honest, but well whatever. We get over here. In fact, I should just gather all of you there. And you were, yeah, you were supposed to produce me that, and you were supposed, supposed to produce me this. And after we've got a couple of rafts, we can produce a couple of dump trucks. And then secure a mining location. Here you just hang out here, and you can support this guy here by just hanging around here. And what do we have here? Oh, so they want to build a mine here? I think that's not going to happen. So in fact, since we don't have one, we might actually have to take that spot, but we'll see about that. For now, let's also do some counterintelligence. Oh, that's just great. You want to defend yourself? No? Okay. I guess not. So you move a little bit forward so you can form a, a line here. And you join in. Guys, you attack this guy here. Let's see whether you're good for anything. And what the monetary situation still mostly fine right now. Even though I could use some, some repairs in the long run. But we'll see about that. You fill that gap. Yeah, that that bazooka guy does. That has a has a range that is just isn't good enough. So like I can already tell you that. So you get up here, and you repair vehicles for now. We'll repair more stuff later. And you should produce. I uh, should probably produce me some dump trucks, but there we go. You kill that guy, please. 
And it seems like Bazooka Infantry is, l is largely useless. So you're repairing that stuff, that's nice. And I guess I... Did I already kill that guy? I think I did. Well, they, they want to build a lot of stuff here, as it seems. Sabotage successful, even though I didn't actually order any sabotage. That, but that's, that's okay too. And no, you're not going to build anything here. I don't want that. There we go. And... How much money do we have left? I wonder whether we can actually just uh, march through with these guys here. Because that, in that case, could just save us the trouble. Well, look at that, so... This rather could save us the trouble of actually building a mine and everything. So yeah, I think we could do that because we do have money for a lot of... A lot of... Of vehicles left and we do have a decent amount of... There we go. Let's kill you then. And yeah, it seems that the the enemy isn't isn't overall isn't in great shape. So let's just drive through here. In fact, let's just set you into attack mode, and let's increase the speed a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, yeah, I'm, oh look at that skyscrapers. Oh yeah, you can actually go over here as well and go into attack. Yeah, I think it's, we can just overrun stuff here. We don't even need to. Build up a mine and everything, I and there we go. Need that territory anyway. The people were worthless degenerates. Okay, that's good to know. I do accept the surrender. Seems like you can just win this by spamming a lot of stuff initially. Well, that's good to know. And I think the main weakness here was that the enemy didn't really have much stuff and pretty much no base defenses. Oh well, I'm not going to complain about that. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.